Mom's Day. If you want to be listening, you better pay attention. We learn about makeup and hair and all our business. You want to have a good time with her, Bree, and the family. So take a seat, sit back and watch. and gents it is mama day here so i was tagged in another video by by pretty unique pretty unique um tagged me in the this is how you do it so it's basically giving you guys a tour of my video recording area so we'll get started um i am in my former living room and i know this is a naughty place to be doing recordings but it's the only space I have so about right here I'll do it at this angle so you guys can see this is my background I recently got I got it from Ross's it's simply nothing but a um, fabric tablecloth and I just loved the color and it was a great background you could see my hair with and it just hangs from the ceiling and I use little not sure if you guys can see it you see little tacks that I got from Target and just tacked them up. Um, so this is my window. I use that as a lighting space. But as you can see, I have the umbrella here. I have a light here. And then I have another umbrella here, which is great for sunlighting. Because um, sometimes if it's gloomy or if I have the curtain closed because I video or tape, if I video record at night, you know, I still need that. Artificial light. Like this is my chair where I sit in, right? And beside my chair, I have this table. You see on the table, I have a pillow. Usually when I do the girl's hair, sorry, my little camera thing's hanging there. There you go. When I do the girl's hair, I'll sit in the chair, and they'll sit down on the pillow on the ground. My flat iron and whatnot, I had just stretched um, flat iron on his hair, so that's why they're there. My iPhone's charging, my gel, and what is that? Um, smoothie, curl enhancer, and then some little sand stuff or whatnot. Then we're going to go to my table. This is where the magic happens. Hi, y'all. <laughs> so this is where I basically do my makeup, my hair, everything. Right there is where I hold all my lipsticks. Um, that right there is where I hold all my brushes, and I'll go back to that later. Um, yeah, and I'm just going to give you a quick little glance all my, you know, deodorant and perfume and all that. And then my mirror where I look at to do my makeup. There is all of my hair products that I have from the Curl Kit. More makeup right there in those glasses. Usually this is where I do all my eyebrow stuff at. Um, utensils. And then this is just like primers and eyeliners. Or whatnot and then here is like my mascara thicker eyeliner some of my concealers and lip liners are in here and then in this Karen's body drawer that I got I am now using that to hold all my eyeshadow palettes as well as my glitter and some of my loose powder palettes that I got from Mio all in there um, and my NYX all of that's in there I just have all of my oops there it goes all of my um, bases right there. My pH balance strip that I use for all my products to test them, make sure I can like them. Um, these are all my foundations. I have everything from Revlon to Ma um, Maybelline to um, Ruby Kisses to Mary Kay and to e.l.f. And then, let's see, let me come down. You guys see right here, I have my e.l.f. palette. And then when I open this drawer right here, this is basically this is basically all of my hair stuff in here. My brushes, my head rags, my um, flex rods, my weave, my combs, all the good stuff I need to style my hair with. So this is where I hold all my brushes at. It's a nice little carousel I got at the thrift store for 99 cents. Great deal. But this holds also some makeup. So this is my eyebrow kit from e.l.f. and Jordana. Um, I have underneath here another blush by e.l.f. Turn it. I have both my um, 
Black Radiance blushes. And then down here I have my Alta and my um, Wet n Wild eyeshadows, loose eyeshadows. Let's see what else? Um, a NYX blush and a Hard Candy eyeshadow. Let's see, I have a Kabasi brush and my favorite Black Elf matte eyeshadow. And I think that's it. Yeah, and then these are all of my big brushes I hold in here. And this nastiness right here is um, I take my um, e.l.f. brush shampoo and I always, I have this filled up halfway and at the bottom you see are these little rocks. You see them? And these are basically brushes I used from this morning. Let me see so you can see it. And what I basically do is I let them soak in here. I rub them in the rocks, kind of cleans the brushes off so they're nice and brushed. And because it's sanitary, I kind of leave it there all day. And then when I get home at night, I will, I will dump the water and... Um, clean the rocks out and then put my brushes on a flat paper towel tonight to kind of let them dry off air dry so that's my station I have to show you guys my creativeness so um let me show you my mirror is a very small mirror so if you see I have it set it on this old curl kit box that I got and I just leave it there so that um it's you know eye level with me when I do makeup tutorials um my camera uses stands right here and then I can look I bring the camera about right here and then I can look in the mirror and still have a focal vision with my stand and my stand I have it at a height like this so it's kind of looking straight at me and I'm just barely looking down so you get a good visual of how my eye makeup's put on and I'm literally looking at this mirror, but it still flows well. well let me show you what I used to, because I told um, Pretty Unique she had a stand that she holds her camera on. And I used to take this Echo Style Gel, this curly um, curl smoothing enhancer bottle, but you gotta you gotta make it good. You have to make the camera tilt up so it's looking, and then I would take an Alta eyeshadow and put it right on the edge put the camera on top so it's angled up looking right at me and that's how I used to video record all my videos before I got this tripod thank god for the tripod because I don't know how many times I have um almost lost my camera because it would fall and I'd catch it and be like oh whew. yeah so this is how I do it great tag thank you I'm not sure who would want to do this. So if you really are interested in doing this tag, please do this tag and do a video response. Um, because I tag some people and they don't do it. I'm not sure if it's because they didn't want to be tagged. So I'm not too sure who wants to be tagged and who doesn't want to be tagged. Yeah, and if you want to be tagged more often, because I always get tagged, thankfully, I appreciate it. Um, just inbox me or do a video response and that lets me know you want to be tagged and I'll tag you in my next video. So, okay guys, as always, I hope you like it. You love it. Comment below and tell me what you think. Bye.